Hmm? Yes. Well, look who it is. You have made quite a stir, and given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. To what do I owe the honor, Vindicator? At the moment, obviously a great deal of nothing. I have the High Council to thank for that. Politics and expedience rarely pair well. Well, well. Progress, at last. Then your arrival is even more momentous than I'd believed. I will spare you much of the technical detail, as I confess that pieces of it I barely understand myself. One cannot help but notice the energy field around this Guild Citadel. Until we can get through it, we cannot shut down the experiment inside, and it has proved quite impossible to get through. We had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect grav drive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Politics got in the way. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became negotiations. And so, construction never began. We have sat here, staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now. Serpent help us, it is infuriating. The Council just so happens to represent the three houses under Varun's banner, who are also entrusted with various aspects of running, well, everything. Each of those houses needs to contribute something to the project, so the Council is the final stopgap. Were the Speaker here, he could bypass all of it with a wave of his hand, but... Well, you have already seen the state he's in. Indeed. All must serve. I believe I've done enough complaining for now. Time to get to work. If you're here, the Council has likely sent word to the Houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. I need to oversee construction here, make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the Houses, that may speed up the process. The first convert in generations. The only one to have heard from the speaker since the disaster. Oh, I think they will listen. House Fetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. Help me get what we need, and we will see what we can do for the Speaker, and for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the Serpent puts before you as we navigate this. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. If only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. I know, I know. I have lost friends and colleagues myself. We have encountered several interesting phenomena 
First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of Vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. I do hope you are not questioning the thoroughness of my research. I assure you, they will work. The process is simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice, if you have the materials. And, depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage. Not enough to have prevented it from happening. If I had any idea it was going to turn out like this... I... It had been Inasco's primary goal for some time. A way to recreate Jinan Varun's encounter with the Great Serpent. Everything we knew about grab drive technology, every scientific advancement we'd made in the last hundred years was poured into it. Towards the end... <laughs> I was just so exhausted. I asked for a brief time off. Had I not, I would be trapped in there with the rest of the science team. Yes, I am sure that is how some would see it. I left the project weeks before the disaster, and at that point, we were nowhere near ready. Some breakthroughs were made shortly thereafter, and they ran the experiment. And here we are. Just look around. I'm sure you have at least some idea of how much we have physically lost. A huge portion of the city is just... gone. And those left behind are struggling. Supplies are limited, there is so much work to be done, and we are all just so tired. I hope that eventually we can return things to the way they were, but we must be realistic. That will take time, and I suspect a great deal of it. Yes, depending on how much trouble you're getting into. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research, when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. If only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. Excuse me, Blue Keeper. Can I have a word? The request for aid and supplies never cease. I pray that the Great Serpent will deliver us from our hardships soon. Confess, I'm still adjusting to my new role. Hello, Vindicator. 
Malibor has kept me informed of the situation. The deadlock of the High Council. I hope your presence here means things have changed. You I see. I'm pleased that the Council is once again working towards a solution. It felt wrong not to help. Do you know where I was when it happened? The incident, they call it. I was in the temple next door, conversing with my cousin. I was in the middle of replying to him about... You know? I don't even recall. Some meaningless bit of family drama, I'm sure. One moment, he was there, and the next, gone. My cousin, the floor, the wall, just gone. I found myself looking out at the scaled citadel, unable to comprehend. And now, here I stand, the elder of House Dulkev. My loss? Yes, I suppose. Although, from an outside perspective, one could consider it a fair trade, given my new role. Perhaps even a gain. I appreciate the sentiment, but we shall never know. You cannot imagine it. A single moment of pure, terrible silence. A meter's distance was all that separated me from whatever has become of Dazra. I find that through all the chaos and the scrambling since, my mind drifts back to that moment. I could be gone as well. But here I remain, spared. And I do not know why. Hopefully you can deliver them from this. But what comes after? What about the next trial? I'm sorry. I should shoulder my own burdens, not force them upon you. I've grown so tired of the council squabbling, and I want no further part in it. I have no demands, no requests. All must serve. And House Dulkev is no exception. An attempt was made, but I admit it was not as forceful as it should have been. It was clear it was going to fall on deaf ears. That is what I can tell you. Sometime before our current calamity, Anesco Varun approached me looking for information about his grandfather's time. He was frustrated at the lack of progress. House Dulkev keeps extensive records, you see. While I was never told the exact reason behind the inquiry, I was able to deduce a fair amount. I provided him with the shipping manifest from the time of the Serpent's Crusade. Materials and equipment that suggested some highly specialized research. I told Anesco where those materials had been sent. Weeks later, well, you've seen the Citadel. You know as well as any where we are now. I believe so. Yes. Anasco returned from the site in unusually good spirits. He boasted of something called the Vortex Interlock, and that it was the key to unlocking some new unseen potential. Whatever records exist of this interlock were swallowed up with the Citadel. And as for the original site, executors were sent, but did not return. And we can spare no more casualties. So I suggest you visit Malin Dam to the southeast. I believe it is more than it seems. It is the only place to learn more about these vortex interlocks and what connection they may have to the events at the Citadel. And should your search be fruitful, 
make sure it is known that House Dulcap was proud to serve when called upon. Have all the supplies been empty?
You can't get in there, not unless you have a card. It's fine. It was built extra strong, and the railings are all sturdy. There aren't any sharp edges. So, you're trying to get in there? You're not the first person to come here recently, you know? Anasco Varun himself was here. I saw him, but he didn't talk to me. And there were too many other people around him. They all looked really serious. Okay, but it wasn't much. I didn't want to get too close. Father says I get in the way too much, and I didn't want to do that. But I did see them go in. They had cards that let them open the door. I found one after they'd left. I thought about using it, but I didn't want to get in trouble. Kavil said I should give it to him for safekeeping. So I did. Maybe he'll let you have it. He's really friendly. I'm sure he'll help. Why would I ever speak?
power fluctuations detected. Rerouting to compensate. Drainage pump control bypassed. are not welcome here. You will leave immediately. This is your only warning. I guard these halls with my brothers and sisters, until the shrouding. None are allowed here, including you. I do not care what you think you need. Jinan Varun himself charged us with the protection of this facility. It was his last order, and it will be carried out. And yet, his orders were clear. That he has passed on does not matter. The work done here must be safeguarded, protected, never permitted to leave. None but the Speaker may decide otherwise. And you are not the speaker. You were warned. You did not listen. There is not. The Speaker's orders will be carried out. You must die.
didn't think you would be rid of me so easily. The arrogance! The work done here has tied us to this place for all time. That is why we have agreed to guard it. Sister, have you not finished this game? You should have heeded Karija's words in the beginning, little one. This is no place for you. The outcome has not changed, Vedrasa. We are still in control here. Your resistance does not change my orders. They will be followed. Do you even understand why you are here? What it is you are looking for? This seems a fool's errand. So, you do know something about this place. It does not matter. The interlocks are not yours. They belong here with us. And they will stay here. You should have left when you had the chance.
not grow weary of this. I assure you, it will not end. You are the one with the power to change this. Either by turning around, or dying. This is turning into a most exhilarating exercise. All this noise over one little trespasser. Let us be done with this already. The experiments here have ensured our resilience. We endure because it has been ordered of us. How Sparoon's return to greatness begins with the work done here. And until that time comes, we will keep it safe. I cannot. The Speaker gave orders. He speaks for the Great Serpent. The orders must be followed. Grid destabilized. Containment fields failing. Backup systems risk overload. Consider manual shutdown at the earliest convenience. Those interlocks power our pods. You have killed Pedrasa. What is more, you have disrupted the flow of power within the dam. You are one step from dooming those farmers on the surface. All right, hero. You have proven yourself a commendable opponent. But now... You have a choice to make. If you can remove the remaining interlock, you will have bested us. But you will ruin the lives of those above us. Or we can continue this contest of wills and see which of us is stronger. The choice is yours.
But we do. My dedication to the Great Serpent demands my obedience to his speaker's orders. Power failure. Dam function compromised. Emergency evacuation protocols enacted. Please exit the facility. What are we going to do? We'll have to move. We can't stay here after this. Have we offended the Great Serpent so? Dazra was not enough? I don't have anything to say to you. This farm is the only place I have ever known. Now I have nothing. Understand. I saw a Nasco, took measure of his burdens. What you are describing is a dream, nothing more. Not a dream, a message from the great serpent himself. With all due respect to your craft, dear sister, now is not the time for incense and ash leaves. Nor do you not see the depth of the crater before you? On the contrary, brother. I see it for what it truly is. And if we ignore this vision, Anesco will be lost to us forever. Enough with the proselytizing. The Vindicator has returned. I am old and my eyesight is not what it used to be, but I know the face of success when I see it. Your lead from House Dulkef paid off. I did not, but it does not surprise me. So many projects over the decades. So many secrets. So few successes. I have heard of such a thing. 
Recently, in fact, just before the accident. That is apparently not a coincidence. We do not need it for the device, but if this accounts for some of the leaps in progress in the Citadel, you may wish to hold on to it. As much as I have devoted my life to science, one cannot deny that there is an occasional spark of the divine. The Great Serpent has use for this, and you, still to come. Now we await the assistance of Houses Vatal and Kadik. Let us hope we do not wait long. Politics can wait. Every moment we delay, a Nazgul descends further into the void. For the last time, faith will not remove the barrier. Science will. It is the hubris of science that failed you in this moment. We reached out to the Great Serpent. This is his reply. You claim he has forsaken us? I do no such thing. The Great Serpent's reply is not an answer, but a question. Are we worthy of his grace? Until that is proven, your works will not succeed. It sounds like you agree with me. And yet, only one is the foundation for the other. But the proof is not in our words. It is in the vision. Anasco's presence still persists in this world. And he seeks our aid. Eh, fine. I feel like I've lived this argument a thousand times. And the only way to move past it is to concede to its nonsense. Vindicator, speak to my sister. Agree to her fool's errand so that we may continue the work of saving this city. 